Dr. Nadine Burke Harris is the Surgeon General of California, and she's implemented an adverse childhood experiences initiative throughout the state of California. Thank you, Dr. Harris. Good morning. Wow, it's really my honor and my privilege to be here with all of you today. And I want to start by thanking Fritzi for uh, this extraordinary healing work and thank you for allowing me to be part of this conversation this morning. You guys have been through a lot. Every step forward as a child suffering is that as a doctor, as a physician, when I first started learning about how what happens to us in our lives, and especially when we're young, especially when our brains and bodies are just developing, how it shapes our biology. It gets under our skin and you know, it activates our stress response and sometimes it, 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 it feels like, it can feel like we're out of control. It can feel like we are injured. It can feel like we are broken. I'm here to tell you today that you are not broken. And that healing is possible. And what Fritzy just said, what these volunteers just showed you, is that you matter. Damn it, you matter. That's why I'm here today. That's why Governor Newsom sent me here today to be part of this process, to let you know that we give a damn about you, that we believe in you. We have not given up on you. And you know what? It starts with recognizing what's going on, speaking the truth about it, and then being in connection because relationships are healing. I just wanted to, to come to say, Thank you. Thanks for doing the hard work. And it doesn't happen overnight, but you keep putting one foot in front of the other, and it does happen. And it's never too late. You're never too old. You're never too broken. And there's nothing that you have done in your past that makes it impossible for you to heal now and in your future. Love y'all. Thank you. Thank you for being here. This is important. What's happening here is important. What you're doing is important. I mean, the minute I walked into a prison, I knew. I said, we got to stop this. We got to stop what we're doing. We got to change it now. Yeah. We don't have time. It's urgent because these are amazing people. Yeah. They did something bad, but that doesn't mean they're bad for the rest of their lives. And, and in our society, when people experience uh, adverse childhood experiences and they're injured and they do something as a result of their injury, we just let them stay injured. We don't put into place the systems and practices and processes to heal them and instead we send them here we have to recognize and acknowledge the impact of adverse childhood experiences and what that means about what what our responsibility is and what we owe to the people who are residents of this prison we have to say we haven't forgotten about you and if we truly believe that ACEs are damaging if we truly recognize the impact on 
on brain development and all of that stuff. We have to be doing this work here. That's why Compassion Prison Project is so important because this is like an ICU for ACEs. <laughs> You're my hero, my dear. <laughs> <laughs>